If you're watching this, chances are you've already gone down the online rabbit hole of tonsil stone removal. You've seen the videos, the articles, you may have bought a gadget or two, and you feel something in your throat, you know it's causing bad breath, and you just want it gone for good. The idea of a quick at-home fix is incredibly tempting, but as an ENT surgeon who deals with this every day, I want to share with you why those DIY methods are not just ineffective, but potentially harmful. Today we're going to talk about why treating the symptom isn't solving the problem and how you can stop the cycle for good. So let's take a look at the most common DIY remedies that people try at home for tonsil stones. First is the cotton swab or your finger. This is the most intuitive method. If you can see the stone inside the crypt, sometimes you can try to pick it out with a Q-tip or squeeze it out with your finger. Now you might get some satisfaction and dislodge a superficial stone, but many times the crypts are pretty deep. And so a lot of times these stones can be hiding much further inside, inside the tonsil crypt. Then we have the water flosser or a water pick. Now this seems like a great idea. If you can get the tip of this water pick into the crypt and shoot it just the right way, sometimes you can get some of the stone material out. But the pressure needed to dislodge a stubborn stone can be surprisingly high. And it's actually pretty hard to aim that tip fully into the crypt to get everything out. Finally, we have the at-home kits that you can buy online. Oftentimes with metal picks or little spoons or little scrapers. And these look professional and sophisticated, but these can actually be the most dangerous of all. Frequently, you're taking a sharp object to an area of the body where there are very delicate mucous membranes, very easily causing tears, leading to bleeding, scarring, and the entry of bacteria into the mucous membrane. Here's the most important thing to understand. All of these methods have the exact same flaw. They only remove the stone that is currently sitting inside of the crypt. They do absolutely nothing to stop the next one from forming tomorrow. Think of it like a pothole on the street. When a pothole gets filled with mud, gravel, and other trash from the street, you can dig it clean and pressure wash it clean, and for a day, it will look better, but the pothole, it's still there, and it's fresh and ready to collect more mud the next time it rains. The street trash and mud will fill it right back up in no time. Tonsil stones are like the street trash, and the tonsil crypt, which is the deep pockets and the crevices, in the surface of the tonsil, those are the potholes. These crypts are permanent anatomic structures on the surface of the tonsil, and they will continue to trap debris, bacteria, and food every time you eat. And you can squeeze, you can pick at it and clean out the tonsil crypt, and it'll be clean for a while, but now you have a fresh new crypt ready to form another tonsil stone after a very short period of time. And this is what causes a frustrating, endless cycle of tonsil stones. In addition to just being ineffective, at-home tonsil stone remedies could actually make the problem worse. And there are a few reasons for that. First is trauma and bleeding. The mucous membrane overlying the tonsil tissue is actually very thin and very fragile, and so it's not difficult to cause small tears or cuts in the mucous membrane. This can lead to bleeding, which can be very frightening, but also it can be very difficult to control at home. Secondly is infection. These small tears produce a new avenue for bacteria to penetrate deeper into the tonsil tissue, and this can lead to prolonged infection and sometimes even an abscess. Lastly, you can actually make the problem worse. By trying to pick at this little tonsil stone, sometimes you can force it even deeper into the crypt, making it nearly impossible to retrieve. And that can lead to prolongation of the inflammation and just a longer period of discomfort and just a sensation like you have a lump stuck in the throat. Furthermore, the repeated trauma can lead to scarring, and scar tissue can make it even harder for the stone to come out, and it can make it more likely to trap debris, which can be very frustrating. So if digging and squeezing out the tonsil stone is not the answer, how do you take care of the problem for good? This is where a definitive professional solution is essential. At ENT of Georgia South, we use a procedure called laser tonsil cryptolysis. We don't just scoop out the stone, we use a precise laser, to gently vaporize and smooth out the surface of the tonsil. By eliminating the hiding spots, we eliminate the problem at its source. No more crypts means no more places for the stones to hide and to form. It's a walk-in, walk-out procedure done here in the office that addresses a root cause safely and permanently. It's the difference between constantly picking out the stones from your tonsils versus repaving the surface so we can take care of the problem for good. The cycle of finding a stone, worrying about your breath, trying to remove it, and then waiting for the next one is exhausting. You do not have to live with it anymore. 
If you are ready to stop treating the symptom and finally address the root cause of your tonsil stones, I invite you to learn more about a permanent solution at ENT of Georgia South. So click the link in the description below to visit our website. You can schedule your personal consultation right online. Telemedicine evaluations are also available. It's time to find a real solution. Thanks for watching.